So my name is Andy Green, I'm the CEO of Acme Atronomatic. I founded the company way back in 2000. My name is Leslie Hudson, I'm the Chief Digital Meteorologist for MyRadar. Uh, what I do for the app is I do daily uh, weather forecasting for the app, national forecasts that give you overview of what the expect of the weather that day. We've, we've got offices in Orlando and uh, Portland, Oregon. My name is Surveish Garimela, and I am the Chief Scientist and Chief Operating Officer at Acme Atronomatic. My role is to lead the innovation efforts and make sure that we stay ahead of the, the curve for developing new and cool features, as well as managing the company's organizational process and structure. My name is Darren McRae. I'm the Chief Architect of Cloud Computing at Acme. I've been at the company for three years. When I first started here, uh, we were a loose confederation of high caliber weather data fanatics. So I am Nathan Ramsey uh, and my title at Acme is the Chief Engineering Officer. As the lead developer, I make sure that we're keeping the code base clean and that we're keeping up with uh, the Android platform standards. I also lead development for the Slippy Map. Hi, I'm Bradley Anderson. I work on mobile product engineering as well as partnerships and strategy for the MyRadar application at Acme Atronomatic. So my role at MyRadar is to focus on product engineering, taking feedback from users, taking you know, designs from our designers, and trying to distill that into a way where we can build the best possible product. Acme Atronomatic is a mobile applications and uh, data processing company. Acme Atronomatic is a whimsical name. It's supposed to be Looney Tunes, Wiley Coyote. Acme Atronomatic is the parent company of MyRadar. Back in 2012, we were a small mobile app shop, yeah, just a small handful of developers, two or three core contributors. As my radar has grown from being a small weather app to becoming a household name and a leader in the weather category, the company has grown along with it. I think we are now close to 30 employees on both the West and the East Coast. Uh, it sort of marked uh, 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 an expansion from primarily aviation related technologies to both aviation and weather related technologies. And that sort of happened 10 years after the inception of the company. And uh, our main app that we have is called MyRadar. And then we have all this weather data that we process that's consumed by MyRadar. MyRadar is a mobile application on Windows, iPhone, and Android. It serves, among other types of weather data, uh, radar for people to be aware of impending precipitation and severe weather. You would launch the app and it would immediately show your location and uh, on a map and it would animate the radar over your location. Across the country and even uh, in several parts of the world including Japan, uh, parts of South America, parts of the U.S., British Virgin Islands. It just kind of really caught on. It turned out to be a very useful tool on mobile devices in general. And we have our own Slippy Map. It's basically Google Maps or Apple Maps or uh, whatever you have where the user can uh, use, uh, you know, use their fingers to manipulate the map, you know, pinch to zoom, so on and so forth. Over the years, we've just kind of grown it out. We've added a lot of features to it. A uh, button right on the toolbar with a very recognizable icon that allows you to focus on your current location. Different layers that you can toggle off and on depending on your preferences. We've taken it from being just a regular weather app 
uh, to you know, more of a, an environmental app where we actually show things like earthquakes as they happen, you know, as, as they're reported by the USGS and other services. Uh, our hurricane tracking layer, that's our number one feature during hurricane season. Uh, people want to see where hurricanes are, they want to track them for themselves. Tornado alerts that we forward along from the, the National Weather Service will keep people aware of that type of severe weather if it's occurring in their area. Uh, we track wildfires which have been very important uh, in California in the western U.S. especially this last year. Uh, a, a really fancy looking winds layer that shows you the surface winds and uh, the daily severe weather outlook from the National Weather Service so if you're in an area that's under a risk of severe weather you can find that out. Uh, lightning feature which is one of my favorites uh, animates and illuminates where lightning strikes are uh, detected and we have temperatures uh, we have your local forecast with just by dragging the slide bar down you can see your local forecast which you can expect the next hour by hour up to seven days uh, in addition to just the weather um, and, and sort of showing current weather we've kind of moved into the science field into the prediction uh, area so now we have uh, a patent pending uh, process that predicts the rain at a very accurate rate up to about an hour out so down to the minute, we can tell you when it's about to rain, you know, with pretty good accuracy, uh, especially compared to some of the other prediction models out there. And then we also have a storm chasing feature that in uh, severe weather events, people can touch the thumbnail and actually track along with a, a real storm chaser that's chasing tornadoes live out somewhere in the U.S., which is a really popular feature. And the photo feature is also probably one of our top popular features. People love to post pictures in our photo layer and anywhere around the country you can see what's going on weather-wise. We have features in there for aviation, so we've definitely expanded it over the years. Fast Forecast with Leslie Hudson. So those are called the Fast Forecast and our main goal with that is to try and give the user a quick look of what they can expect nationwide in the weather. We try and touch all the areas of the country, southeast, uh, northeast, midwest, Great Lakes, western U.S. We try and, and at least highlight the big weather players of the day so people can find out quickly where weather is headed and if it's headed to where they live. Um, we also try and back that up with what we call viral videos that we pick throughout the day before that we think showcase the big weather event that we think will happen the next day. So we use those viral videos as well as weather graphics that I build every day and then uh, come on camera and do about a two minute presentation that will then run in the app and runs on all platforms and social media. But we have uh, the imagery from Mars in the app so that you can actually browse the planet's surface uh, thanks to the imagery captured from NASA. Um, we use our mapping technology to take those images and map them onto a, you know, a globe or a flat map and you can literally just browse the geographical features of Mars. So it's really kind of neat. All of these features are sort of overlaid on the map in, in a really usable and, and uh, interactive way. We also have within the app, there's d different layers. You can upgrade to a Pro Pack or you can upgrade to uh, above the, the Pro Pack as well. Three different radar tilts. You can also get velocity mode. That's more for meteorologists and trained professionals that know how to dissect radar imagery. But it's a great tool when trying to track storms and trying to find hail. It'll show hail cores easily. So it's a, it's a really good resource for people that are trying to use, you know, there's truckers, there's farmers, there's pilots, there's moms and dads that are going to soccer games, all these people that need to know if there's severe weather headed their way. And with all these tools within the app, they have a pretty good idea of if that threat's coming towards them. And you don't have to have a degree in meteorology to know that if there's magenta on the, on, on the screen that there's a pretty bad storm headed your way. Those same everyday users that we have built trust with and that have come to rely on us choose our app when their lives depend on it. And that means a lot to me. Very different than working on, say, a social media app or another mobile game. And that is what differentiates it from its competitors. Knowing that people will use this weather and serious applications really informs the way we think about this product and the decisions that we make on a day-to-day -day basis. It's really cool knowing that the app is used by millions of people. I mean, it was definitely unexpected when we launched the app uh, so long ago, you know, it was kind of a side project, but it just grew uh, like crazy over the years, uh, which kind of proves its, you know, usefulness. You know, we started off with just, you know, a few thousand downloads originally to now to the point we've got uh, 35 million downloads across Android, iOS, and Windows. Uh, we have an Xbox version coming out soon, and uh, we have about 12 million active monthly users, so that's, that's really cool. Uh, you know, it's just really nice to know that um, We've worked hard on something that's so valuable to people and they find it so useful, so that's really kind of a neat feeling.
I really like that my radar is uniquely positioned to keep people informed on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, about the weather or storms that are going to happen that day. But we also have a very unique responsibility in that a lot of people will be checking the weather for you know, mission critical applications. People deciding whether or not to perform their outdoor work. People using my radar in search and rescue. People using my radar to decide whether or not they should evacuate if there's an incoming hurricane or tornado. People who I work with and the people who I know personally tend to uh, enjoy using the app. And it's actually lots of fun to, to hear random people like, oh, you work on my radar? I totally have that app. And that's, a, that's, that's always a fun, fun thing to hear. Our side, the broadcast side, where we provide live broadcasting for the people to find out where the systems are. We hear about it from people over and over again, how the app has saved their, literally saved their lives in a severe weather outbreak. We were just listening to one today where a man was in Naples, Florida and a tornado ripped through a mall and he saw the tornado coming on the My Radar app and got for ran for cover and told other people a tornado was coming and literally saved people's lives. One user uploaded a photo in particular that was uh, an indoor shot showing everybody huddled inside a uh, safe room uh, and they were all on their phones watching uh, the tornadoes pass on my radar. And uh, I thought that was striking. That was really kind of crazy uh, and, and fascinating at the time. By watching the route that it was following, he was able to find a shelter and avoid being in harm's way. If our application saves one life, it makes it all worth it. You know, one of the events we sponsor every year is the annual Sun and Fun Air Show in Lakeland, Florida. And it's really fun going out there and meeting with real users who use the app on a day-to-day -day basis. And I remember one year at Sun and Fun, a family came up to us and the guy was very emotional. I'm just at an event, you know, sponsoring an application, handing out some free t-shirts to our users and gathering feedback. But this guy really wanted to connect with us and I took him aside and I talked to him and he looked me in the eye and he said, thank you, you know, your app saved my life and saved my family's life. And it turned out this gentleman was a survivor of the deadly tornado that was in Joplin, Missouri. And him and his family had taken shelter in one area and they were listening to the local news, local TV, and paying attention to my radar. And he credits the information that he saw on my radar with making the decision to move his family from where they were sheltered to another place that had a, had a basement. Where he saw the tornado track was coming in looks different than what he was hearing from the local news. So we packed everybody up in the min minivan, sped across town for 15 minutes, and took shelter in, in a basement. And it turns out the original place where they were hiding ended up getting hit really badly and there's some buildings were destroyed. And you know, he looked me in the eye and he literally said, thank you, your app saved my life and saved my family's life. And of course that just blew my mind. I you know, said, you're welcome. But I really took that back to the office the next week and talked to the team and told the team like, listen, like what we're doing is like really serious. Like we think of this as just a simple application. At the end of the day, that's the, there's no higher compliment or no higher um, purpose that we could serve with our company than trying to help. And we take that responsibility very seriously. Going forward, we're going to continue to start you know, looking at all of the, the data sources that come online and that are available now and find creative ways that we can combine that stuff into something that's really useful for people. You know, um, We've got some really exciting things that we're looking at from the space perspective and uh, some really exciting ways of taking that data and working with it in ways that nobody else has done before. So. I'm looking forward to that, and it's it's def just definitely as a core uh, rule for the company. We want to try to stay on top of that stuff and make sure that we're, you know, on the cutting edge of, of providing some of this information to people. We are working on spinning up new apps with different focuses for different parts of the weather segment. My radar is really uh, blazing the trail for uh, expanding and improving the capabilities of. Uh, value-added machine learning to improve forecasting and now casting. You know, at the end of the day, we're just trying to be the, the best weather app we can be out there, and, and nowadays that's more than just looking at a radar screen. You know, it's it's finding finding us on social media, you know, finding us at these trade shows and at hurricane seminars, and, and we're trying to become a bigger part of the everyday user's life, which is more than just picking out, taking out your phone and tracking the radar. You, you get all of your content. People get video content on your phone, you get forecasts on your phone, you know, you get your social media on your phone. So we're trying to stay ahead of that ever moving ball, you know, and that's hard to do because it changes every day. The, the, the best years of my radar are still ahead of us.